the relationships between the children and adults in a Montessori 6 to 12 environment are really crucial to the success of the classroom functioning. They're, they're, they're vitally important. And research shows that um, in any classroom, that student-adult relationship is a, is a really important one. It impacts student achievement. It impacts uh, student self-esteem. It impacts the, uh, the sort of functioning of the classroom. And this makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, if you don't feel like you have a strong relationship with the adult in your environment, how can, how can uh, you succeed in that environment? So what are some of the components of building that relationship? Because it does, it is something that we as adults have to take a lot of responsibility for. We have to plan for it and be very intentional so that those relationships uh, develop and stay strong. So we need to be thoughtful about having daily, intentional, positive interactions with the children. And it's important to remember that these positive interactions need to be outside of only, you know, outside of just when you give lessons. It needs to be a part of the culture of the classroom. So here are some things that you can think about as, as potential ways to have these positive interactions. Think about how you greet the children each day. You know, make, do you check in with every child? It doesn't have to be the second they arrive, but shortly after the morning uh, begins and how you say goodbye at the end of the day. Think about having lunch with the children you know, sitting at different tables throughout the week uh, in the classroom so that you can have some interactions at lunchtime. It can happen through playing a game at recess with the children as well. Or it can be sometimes just a simple conversation, even a very, very brief conversation, 10 seconds or less throughout the day. It can also be how you notice them throughout the workday. Uh, and so maybe you make a comment on their work or what they're doing, or you just make sure they notice that you're looking at them and you smile or nod in acknowledgement of that. All of those are positive interactions that the children can, you can do with the children on a daily basis. And those will help build the relationship you have with them. A key component of a strong relationship is that the people in that relationship know one another. And this is true for the relationship between an adult and a student in the classroom and the children in the classroom. You may be getting to know them, their interests and things through the, your observation and lessons, but they also need to get to know you. That's an important part of a strong relationship. So you have to be um, determined to let them get to know you. That means that you're going to share your own hobbies and interests, uh, details about your personal life, your family, places you've traveled, stories from your childhood. You also wanna share your sense of humor uh, your curiosity, all of those things with them. You want to be real with them. And when you're real with them, they can tell. And they can tell that you care enough about them to be authentic, and that strengthens the relationship that you have. Also be sure, uh, other ways that you can share yourself with them is going to school events outside of the school day. We tend to adopt a particular persona in our day-to-day -day work environment and going to a different event, a social event, a performance, other things outside of the school day gives you and the children an opportunity to see each other in a different space and get to know each other in a slightly different way. All of those things impact that relationship and strengthen that relationship. So getting to know them is a part of the relationship as well. And certainly there's a lot of opportunity to do that throughout the class day. But think about ways you can do that really intentionally. You know a child is interested in this one thing. So you bring in an article you've read about, um, about that particular interest to, for the child to see. 
You remember details about their lives, things they've told you, so that you can ask, how did the baseball game go last night? Or how was your recital? Or is, you know, did grandma come home from the hospital yesterday? Those little details of information they share with you that you then bring back up with them shows them that you care, that you value them, and that strengthens the relationship. They start to trust you even more and feel uh, connected to you. So it's an important thing to think about how you're going to share yourself with them so they have an opportunity to truly know you as something more than just their teacher, but also think about how you're going to show them that you know them and that you value them and that you've listened. This just takes um, time and thoughtfulness. And if it's hard for you to remember details when you know 25 children are telling you things, Carry your observation journal and jot those things down uh, so that you can review and remember those details until it gets easier for you. And it usually gets easier the better you get to know the children, right? It's just easier to remember some of those details. Finally, when we think about relationship building in the classroom, we need to think about it in terms of each individual child, but also how the general classroom atmosphere and relationship sort of guidelines are set partly by how we model all of our interactions with the children, how we talk to each other, how we talk to other children, how we, um, how we help the children resolve conflicts, how we resolve our own conflicts. All of that modeling is going to help build all the relationships we have. So keep that in mind throughout the day as you're interacting all the time, even if it's not with one particular student, when they see how you're interacting with someone else, that can impact your relationship with them as well. Strong relationships are the, the foundation of a strong high functioning classroom. And so they're worth the time and the effort and the energy and it's not just because they help the classroom run better, but your life is enriched through the relationships you have with the children. So it's really worth it on so many levels to invest the time and energy into them.